Ariel Helwani in Denver gearing up for UFC 135 alongside the UFC light heavyweight champion Johnny Bones Jones who of course faces Quentin Rampage Jackson this Saturday night live on pay-per-view and John it is good to see you and first things first the beard is just fantastic I hope you're not going to shave on Saturday night well it's a secret whether I'll shave or not um, but yes the beard definitely gives me that that grown man feel and I'm I'm liking it does this uh, reflect maybe your, your attitude right now that you're in you're in caveman mode, so to speak? Yeah, you know I've been training really hard and I feel really great. And uh, I was a little lazy to shave, and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna trim this thing up instead of uh, instead of shaving it off. So right now it's looking a little beastly. I'm gonna find a barber here soon. Oh, I guess I just told my secret. Huh? But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I feel good, man. Now I'm not gonna watch on Saturday night. There's no, there's nothing to watch for anymore. Darn it, Ariel. Seriously. No, you, you've looked good. I must say, you were on uh, Jimmy Kimmel. You looked fantastic. You were on a bunch of different shows. Feel, how sick are you of, of just being around Rampage? They're sort of forcing you guys to, to be on this traveling circus here. You know what? I'm actually liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Um, you know, Rampage's personality is a very unique personality. And if you're not familiar with it, it can almost come across as... Uh, it can be... It can take people back, a lot of people back. You know, Rampage has that, you know, in your face, you know, oh, I'm going to knock you out, kid, and all this, and Mr. T talk. And uh, the more I'm around it, the more I've humanized him, the more I've realized that he's just some heavy handed Mr. T wannabe, uh, you know, that I'm getting ready to fight instead of this intimidating, I'm Rampage Jackson, and I'll knock your head off type of thing, you know? So now I'm like, all right, like, enough fun and games. Let's see who's a better fighter, you know? So it's actually helped me humanize him a lot being around it. He talks about uh, you disrespecting him at the first press conference. I've looked at that press conference, and I've read all your interviews. I don't remember you ever disrespecting him. What do you think he's talking about? I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a tactic to get the fans on his side. You know, him calling me cocky, him saying that I'm, I'm an arrogant little kid, and I'm just this cocky boy. Um, I think he's trying to plant that seed into people's minds. So maybe he is cocky. Oh, he is cocky. Um, so... I think it's a, it's a tactic of his to try to get the fans on his side so his support base will grow up and, and they've kind of put me up against the wall and try to make me feel like no one likes me and it's not going to work. Do you think he and others have fueled this, this sort of um, this, this, this notion that, that you are cocky and trying to get fans to, to go against you because you've accomplished so much at such a young age? Honestly, I think that's what it is. Literally, it could be, it could be anything. Um, it could have been any other word, and that would have tagged and kind of stuck. But they chose the word cocky. And the reason why they're calling me cocky, I think, is because of my age, you know. I'm a guy who's confident in myself, and I feel good about myself. I've accomplished a lot in, at it so far, and it's just really getting started. And, uh, and it's sad, but it's, it's two African-American men that, that's calling me cocky. So maybe they're hating on me for being the, the new fresh black face on the, on the map. I don't know. Do you think he truly believes there was a spy in his camp, or was that just a mind game? Uh, I think it was a mind game or something. Who knows? I mean, he said something about, I tweeted about elbows the day he worked elbows and stuff. I'm like, dude, you're, you're crazy. It seems to have really bothered you, though, that he would attack your character like that. It bothered me that, you know, I, of the amount of attention and mail I got in one day about being a cheater. And, and you know, I've worked really hard to get to where I am. And, and you know, I, I question every supplement that I take. I'm like, if this gives me any unfair advantage, I don't, you know, I don't want to take it, you know. Or, you know, so talk about, you know, like cheating. You know that's that's far-fetched you know how how uh, how deep would you have to get to find someone that rampage just so having to hire to 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 plant him here to pay him to get his number to like how much work would that have taken for me to, to get a spy I focus on training you know I, I, got, I got I don't care what rampage do for training you know the training that what matters to me is the guy that shows up to the fight and I have 40 events to watch. You know, I don't care what he does to get in shape. I don't, I don't care what he does in the octagon. And I see what he does in the octagon by the footage. And that's all I need. All right, final question. What's the key to defeating Rampage Jackson in your opinion? The key to beat Rampage is just to be myself, to believe in my abilities and go out there and do what I think I'm capable of. All right, best of luck. Thanks for the time. Can't wait for Saturday night. Thanks, Ariel.